All right, it's time to go to bed. So first I would like to use this cleanser. It's also a mask actually. So just if you want to cleanse your face, you just cleanse it. If you want to mask it, you just leave it on for longer. So obviously you guys can't smell it, but it smells really good. It smells like honey and it's made of honey mixed with clay. It's definitely a product that I like to use every day just because it's a great overall product because it's both cleansing and hydrating. I'm actually gonna grab a hair tie now so it doesn't get stuck all in my hair. So it's actually a cleanser that doesn't foam, as you can see. So you gotta rub it in really well. So now we're all clean. And then next up I'm gonna use this face mist that I really like from this French brand called Caudalie. I feel like it's really refreshing for the skin and I also really just like the smell of it. Maybe I can make a perfume out of it, I don't know. So up next, now we're gonna hydrate. I have this face cream that is a little bit weird, but Dr. Barbara Sturm actually took my blood and mixed it in this face cream. So it's personalized and it helps to rejuvenate the skin like from the inside out with my own blood cells. And I like this cream a lot because it's very thick and very hydrating and especially in the winter, it's very important to like extra hydrate your skin. So yeah, it's just great for like to have it overnight and let it like really sink into your skin so it can boost the collagen. This is honestly like magic and this has changed my skin so much. It's this brand called Sunday Riley. What I like so much about it is that I really feel like when you get these like marks from old pimples or any like sun damage or anything like that, when I put this on the next day, my skin just looks like so like radiant and just like blurred out. So as you can see here, I have some little scarring from pimples that I touched, which I shouldn't have. So yeah, I just kind of like rub it in with the other face cream that I put on before. All right, next up, something very important. It's an eye cream. I really like this eye cream by Tata Harper because it actually has this like shimmer in it. So once you apply it, it actually instantly gives you that brighter um, and refreshing look. And then also something that I personally struggle with is my smile lines. So I always put eye cream on there as well, just to make them a little bit more plump. So next up, something very important that everyone should do before they go to bed, brush your teeth. So I actually found this toothbrush about a year ago. It's called Quip. And I loved it so much that I decided to invest in it as well. But I love so much about Quip is that it's actually a subscription model. So every three months you get a new head plus battery in your mail. Cause I feel like toothbrush is such a thing when you buy it and you kind of forget when you got it. So then you end up using your toothbrush for way too long. So something else I like to do with my toothbrush is actually scrub my lips. It helps your lips to absorb the product that I'm gonna put on next better. So you just basically make like small round circles. Don't go too hard because your lips are very like sensitive. So then after brushing my teeth and scrubbing my lips, I use this a God lip mask, but it's a lip mask, but it's also kind of like a lip balm. It's just a lip balm a little bit thicker. I like it so much because it just stays on for hours and hours after I put it on. And I think it's a great thing to put on, especially before going to bed, because then once you're sleeping, it sinks in and then you wake up the next day and it's just like super hydrated plump lips. So yeah. So up next, we have something that I feel like a lot of people kind of forget about, but the winter is really dry, especially the heat inside. So every night before I go to sleep, I actually like to put in this healing oil by Innersense. I love it so much, I'm already out of it. I like to do this every night, um, sometimes even in the morning when my hair feels really, really dry. It also smells really nice. All right, so we're finished in here, but we're not completely done yet because I have some other things that I like to do before I go to sleep. 
So there's a couple of other things that I like to do before I go to sleep. I sleep under this blanket, it's a gravity blanket. So this blanket actually weighs 20 pounds. I like it so much because I feel like it really, well it's actually proven to really like calm you down. But I just feel like it feels like someone's hugging you when you're sleeping. Then next I sleep with these three stones or sometimes I put them under my pillow. So this is rose quartz, which is great for your heart chakra, very healing for your heart. This is tourmaline. It's actually a great, like a grounding stone. And then this is selenite, and it actually helps you to dream more vividly and to connect to your higher self. This is also a great stone for meditation. So I like to sleep with these three. Then I also, at the end of the day, especially if I've been around a lot of people, you never really know like their energy, so I like to burn some sage. And then also Palo Santo smudges energy and uplifts it. So this is a great one. And then there's one more thing that I like to do before I go to sleep, and that's read from this book. It's called Moonlight Gratitude, and it basically gives you a little like mantra every night to read. And it's just, yeah, really nice way to end your day. So yeah, thanks for getting unready with me, and good night. Mm -hmm.